The Pranking Boy Long ago, there was a young cheeky boy who looked after some sheep near a village. The boy was often bored. One day, he played a trick on the villagers to pass the time. Wolf! Wolf! He shouted loudly. The villagers come running up the hill to save the sheep. However, when they got there, there was no wolf. The boy laughed at them. I tricked you, he said. You must not tell lies, said the villagers angrily and went back to the village. Soon, the boy was bored again. He thought for a minute and shouted, Wolf! Wolf! Again, villagers rushed up the hill to save the sheep. The boy laughed at them. I tricked you, again he said. You must not tell lies, shouted the villagers. They hurried back down to the village. Later that day, a huge wolf really did come into the field. The boy cried and cried, Wolf! Wolf! This time, the villagers didn't believe the boy. No one came to help and wolf ate all of the sheep. The moral of the story is that no one believes a liar, even if they are telling the truth. The sky is falling. A rabbit lived in a forest who liked to hop and eat carrots. One day, he was resting under a mango tree. A mango fell from the tree on it. It made a loud thud. The rabbit was scared and ran. Rabbit, ouch, the sky is falling. I must run and tell the king lion about it. The rabbit began to run. He ran and ran. On the way, he met a deer. Deer, where are you going? Rabbit, the sky is falling. I am going to the king to tell him about it. Deer, I will come too. Let's run. Deer and rabbit both began to run. A monkey was swinging on a tree. He saw the rabbit and the deer running. Monkey, hi friends, where are you running? Dear, the sky is falling. We are going to the king to tell him about it. Monkey, I will come too. Let's run. On the way, they met a peacock who was dancing. He saw them running. Peacock, where are you going? Monkey, the sky was falling. We are going to the king to tell him about it. All of them ran. They reached to the lion's den. Lion, 
What is all this noise about? Oh, oh, King, the sky is falling. What shall we do now? Lion, who saw the sky falling? Peacock, the monkey knows all about it. Monkey, not I. The deer knows all about it. Deer, I don't know. The rabbit knows all about it. Rabbit, yes, sir. I saw the skies falling. Lion, where did you see it? Rabbit, I was sitting under a tree. I heard a loud thud, and I ran. Lion, can you take us to the place? Rabbit, I am afraid, my lord. Lion, come on, don't be afraid. The rabbit took the lion to the place where he had heard the sound. The other animals followed. The lion looked up at the tree. He understood what had happened. He laughed and laughed. Lion, your silly rabbit, it was only a mango from a tree. Look up, the sky is still there. Now go back home, all of you. The moral of the story is that do not jump into any conclusion before investigating the matter fully. Egret and the Crab Once there was a beautiful pond with flowers, fishes and a crab. As the time goes, the severe drought came and water began to shrink and the fishes struggled for their life with the limited water in the pond. One day, a tricky egret came and told, Oh, poor fishes, let me take you to a pond with lots of water and food. The helpless fishes also agreed and flew with the egret one by one. The last chance came finally to the crab. While the crab is flying with the egret, he saw the bones of fishes on the ground and understood the egret's evil plan. He suddenly grabbed the egret's neck with his strong claws and threatened the egret to bring him back to his pond. The scared egret confessed that he ate all the fishes on his way to the pond. The crab saved his life because of his wisdom and bravery. The moral of the story is that be conscious about your environment and friends. They might not be as they appear.